this is the low key formal, formal part of, of this gathering. Uh, yeah, so welcome to you all. It's, it's you know one of the best occasions is preaching to the converted. And it's, <laughs> it's great to be here to, to talk to you today and, and to thank you for your efforts on, on behalf of, it, of the United Way. It's a very exciting occasion uh, as you begin the, the new campaign, thinking about uh, meeting last year's goal, achieving greater and greater things. And uh, well, I mean, I've remarked on many occasions what a powerful feeling of community uh, uh, I've noticed here at Max since I've been here. And uh, this is one of those ways in which the community comes together to do really good things. And I, you know, I mean, uh, over, over the years, I've been a contributor to the United Way and always been struck by how much more effective we all are when our resources are pooled and we work as a group as uh, you've all done uh, to advance the cause, and then we pull out our financial resources as a community and uh, uh, make an impact on, on uh, poverty in the community and all those other target areas which are the, the focus of the United Way. So it's, uh, it's really, a, it's a privilege to be here to thank you all for, for uh, the work you're doing in, in support of the campaign. I'm going to confess that I was scheduled to be out by the front entrance. <laughs> and I, I, I very proudly told people as I was coming, I'll be out here just short, just to put my bag down. And by the time it, it was uh, my opportunity to go out, it was pouring with rain. And I didn't get out. So I'm confessing that. <laughs> so you don't think I'm, I'm trading on. We cancelled on, on you. Yeah. <laughs> So I've, I've lost that that kind of moral moral advantage. But anyway, I I thank everybody for all the all the efforts the efforts you've put in. I, I'm amazed. I, I was looking at some of the stats about our impact. I mean, in the in the region as a whole, in in Hamilton and Burlington as a whole, that uh, that goal in, that, that we have of 7.1 million is extraordinary, and the benefits that will accrue. Uh, to, to our larger community are, are, are I think, uh, uh, amazing and well worth all the effort people put in. If you, you know, if you look at last year, 218,000 people accessing uh, one or more of the 137 United Way funded programs uh, and services, delivered through 75 community agencies. It really is actually wonderful. And in, in the, those, those figures is a, a very clear indication of the the, the quality and the, the mass of the impact that the United Way has, which uh, I think confirms uh, um, the wisdom of it as a strategy for addressing community need uh, and uh, the, the energy and commitment of people who work uh, for the United Way. And here at MAC, we've, we've done well. I, 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 I notice our goals have increased each year. We've been successful, uh, 225,000 in 2009. Uh, that exceeded uh, the previous bill by 12 percent, um, and uh, we, we reached the quarter million dollar mark, 252,000 uh, uh, approximately. So Mac is uh, obviously a major contributor to the Hamilton Burlington uh, United Way efforts, and uh, I particularly thank uh, all of the class people for the efforts they put into this, and of course to the United Way uh, at large in our area for the, for the work they do. I've got to particularly thank um, our co-chairs, uh, uh, Maya uh, Kanani, our student, uh, Michelle and Ken Krupchenk, um, our leadership co-chairs, uh, Lil Shime and Peter Masha, uh, and Julie Fairservice, founder and uh, lead organizer of Hats Off the United Way. Julie, well done. And Deb Garland of Human Resources for organizing this, this reception. Uh, Lots of other people to thank, but a, a blanket word of thanks to all of you. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be here with you all, and uh, certainly will do everything I can, including getting wet. To <laughs> <laughs> find an occasion to get me wet, I can, I can atone for it. <laughs> thanks very much. Uh, thank you. I have a few words as well. Um, my name is Michelle Carvey, for those of you I haven't met, and I um, have the privilege of co-chairing the United Way campaign with um, Ken Cruikshank and Maya Kanani, who can't be with us today. She's in class and has two midterms later today, so she's not able to, to join us. But I want to thank Dr. Dean for joining us this morning. Um, Thanks for staying dry. <laughs> <laughs> um, your support of the campaign means a lot to us as a, a 
um, as a campaign committee, but also to the children and youth and um, adults and seniors who who do need our, our um, services and we make a huge difference, um, and especially selectively. Um, I want to thank all of you for um, coming uh, for a second year in a row because I know that this team largely is the team that that um, kicked off last year in uh, Hats Off to the United Way um, on such a rainy, cool, and um, gray morning. Um, our uh, campaign um, goal this year, uh, as we mentioned, we will just little deal us. Uh, $160,000. It is a modest increase over last year's um, goal of, uh, well, actually not our goal, our, what, what we brought in, which was 252,000. Um, and that's, uh, Dr. Dean said, it's a 12% increase over the year before. And we have been increasing um, our goal over the past five years. And uh, we have another goal, not just a financial goal, um, that uh, we want to give voice to, and that is uh, a participation goal. And yes, we are um, chatting to those who give uh, their time and the resources. But we did want to acknowledge that one in ten people at McMaster um, give to the United Way either through um, a one-time donation or a payroll deduction. And uh, we are asking all staff and faculty to consider, um, if you haven't already you know, given uh, a, a regular donation, to do that this year. I consider this an invitation to, uh, uh, to contribute financially uh, as well as your time. There are other special events over the course of the fall, most of them through October. On um, October 7th is the football game uh, against uh, Guelph. Uh, we have the online silent auction, uh, which uh, is new this year. We've been doing the silent auction for several years. I'm happy to see Lorraine here, who started that years ago. And, uh, but we're using the online service uh, beginning October 18th through to the end of uh, October. So there'll be um, services and goods uh, for you to bid on. We also um, have uh, Roundup at Titles through the month of December. And Hospitality Services last year started um, with 30 donation boxes. You've probably seen them at the food outlets. There are 30 of them across campus. And um, spare change adds up. We, we uh, ended up for a very short period of time last year collecting about $3,500. And uh, those boxes have been out since uh, May. And then the ongoing and annual bake sale of the School of Business. Has. Um, I wanted to share a little bit about why I give to the United Way, because some people have asked me about that over. I've been on the committee for three years and chairing for um, two. And I really feel um, it's a privilege. Um, I feel fortunate to, um, to work here and to live in Hamilton. And I do believe um, in giving back to my community. And um, I feel that I have given much in this world. And it's, um, it just feels right to be giving back. Um, I know that it makes a difference. It's life transforming the services and programs that students are, um, that our uh, children and youth and adults um, participate. And uh, I want to be part of that effort. And I, not only individually, because I, I give individually, but collectively. Um, it's a special place. Uh, one in three people will be uh, in need of United Way services. Um, and over the course of someone's lifetime, um, 90 percent of us uh, will need the services of United Way agency. So I know many of you already give. Thank you very, very much. Um, whatever your contribution, um, it's valued and appreciated. So thank you. So